the world has radically started to transition away from fossil fuels towards renewable energy sources. The automotive sector is no different, and the passenger vehicle of the future is without a doubt electric. But battery-powered electric vehicles, EVs, have always had some fundamental challenges, while the rest of the car industry has decided to forge ahead with EVs despite their shortcomings. One company has chosen to go its own way. The Japanese juggernaut Toyota looked at the problems consumers faced with battery-powered EVs and designed an innovative alternative, an engine powered by hydrogen that promises to revolutionize the EV industry. In a market where cars powered by lithium-ion batteries have become the poster children of green transportation, Toyota's approach offers a compelling alternative. If you'd like to see these types of videos more often, like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future uploads. For over a century, internal combustion engines, ICEs, have been the backbone of the automotive industry. But these engines, which rely on the combustion of fossil fuels, have significant drawbacks. Combustion engines emit harmful pollutants such as carbon dioxide, CO2, nitrogen oxides, NOx, and particulate matter. These emissions contribute to air pollution and global warming. A quarter of the world's oil is used to power cars, and they account for about 8% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions. Fossil fuels are a finite resource, while new reserves are still being discovered. That fact does not change, and we are effectively just kicking the can down the road by ignoring it. As these resources become scarcer, the environmental and economic costs of extraction rise. Whether fossil fuel reserves last for 50 years or 250, at the end of the day, we were going to have to wean ourselves off them eventually. Best to do so as early as possible to avoid dumping trillions into a dead-end technology that is actively making our planet inhospitable. Ice vehicles are also just plain inefficient. A large portion of the energy from the fuel is lost as heat rather than being used for propulsion. EVs have been hailed as the future of green transportation, primarily because they produce zero tailpipe emissions. However, they too are not without limitations. Lithium-ion batteries, the most common type used in EVs, have several drawbacks. They are expensive, weigh a tremendous amount, have dramatically lower energy density than gasoline, and degrade over time, reducing the vehicle's range. Charging times are also significantly longer compared to the quick refuel times we have grown accustomed to with conventional cars. Both charging stations and the EVs themselves have been upgraded over time to allow for faster pumping of electricity into the batteries safely but it can still take up to half an hour or more to charge an EV. Depending on the circumstances, a far cry from the minute or so required to fill up an ICE vehicle with gas. While not to the extent of fossil fuels, the production and disposal of batteries have their own significant environmental impacts. Mining for lithium, cobalt, nickel, and other materials used in batteries can be environmentally destructive and ethically problematic. Toyota has long been a pioneer in alternative fuel technologies. With its early and continued investment in hybrid vehicles setting the benchmark for fuel efficiency. Now, the company is making waves by focusing on hydrogen fuel cell vehicles, FCVs. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, offers several advantages over both traditional fuels and battery electric power. Hydrogen fuel cell technology generates electricity through a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen, which leaves water vapor as the only byproduct. Hydrogen gas is stored in high-pressure tanks within the vehicle. These tanks are designed to be robust and safe, with multiple layers of protection. The heart of the system, what is effectively now the engine, is the fuel cell stack. This is where hydrogen and oxygen are combined in an electrochemical reaction. This process generates electricity, which powers the vehicle's electric motor, the same motors powered by lithium batteries in conventional EVs. And just like regular EVs, the electric motor provides smooth and instantaneous power delivery to the wheels, producing the incredible torque EVs have become known for. FCVs also have a small battery to store excess energy generated during braking, allowing for regenerative braking and providing additional power when needed. Hydrogen FCVs emit only water vapor, making them an excellent choice for reducing greenhouse gases and improving air quality. Hydrogen can be produced from various renewable sources such as water electrolysis using solar or wind power, making it a sustainable energy carrier. Hydrogen FCVs can be refueled in a matter of minutes, similar to conventional gasoline vehicles, addressing one of the significant drawbacks of battery EVs. They also typically offer a much longer driving range compared to many battery electric vehicles, especially at the same price range, reducing range anxiety and the need for frequent refueling. 
hydrogen has a higher energy density compared to batteries, meaning more energy can be stored in a given volume, which is particularly beneficial for larger vehicles like buses and semis as well as for long-distance travel. Have an energy density of between 0, 1 to 0, 27 kilowatt-hours per kilogram, kilowatt-hour per kilogram. Gasoline is significantly denser at 13 kilowatt-hour per kilogram, which is why it has been such a great fuel source for so long. But hydrogen at 700 bars of pressure, or about 10,000 psi, is three times denser at 39, 6 kilowatt hour per kilogram. Toyota began working on fuel cell technology around 30 years ago and built several concept vehicles as early as 1997. It took several decades of RD, but Toyota was finally successful in producing their first commercial hydrogen FCV called the Toyota Mirai, which went on sale in late 2014. A four door sedan. The first-generation Mirai had two hydrogen tanks that stored 122 liters of hydrogen, which equates to about 5 kilograms at 10,000 psi, and had an EPA range of around 502 kilometers or 312 miles. It carried a small one, 6 kilowatt-hour nickel-metal hydride battery, absolutely tiny compared to the 60 to 100 kilowatt-hour lithium batteries used in conventional EVs. To ensure that the industry for fuel cell technology expanded quickly, Toyota announced that they would not enforce 5,680 of their patents related to FCVs from 2015 to 2020. This included nearly 2,000 patents on the fuel cell stack, over 3,000 patents on software to control the fuel system, about 300 patents for their high-pressure storage tanks, and 70 patents for the production and supply of hydrogen. Not content to rest on their laurels, Toyota released the second-generation Mirai in December of 2020. This time they used three hydrogen tanks with a capacity of 141 liters, but despite this minuscule increase in hydrogen capacity, the Mirai's range was increased dramatically with an EPA rating of 647 kilometers or 402 miles, a nearly 100-mile increase. Addressing the limitations of hydrogen vehicles, despite their many advantages, hydrogen vehicles face several challenges. Aware of these challenges, Toyota is at the forefront of addressing these issues to make hydrogen a viable alternative to conventional and battery electric vehicles. Producing hydrogen in an environmentally friendly manner is crucial. Toyota is investing in green hydrogen production methods, such as water electrolysis using renewable energy sources. The infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is still in its infancy. Toyota is partnering with governments and private companies to expand the network of hydrogen refueling stations, particularly in key markets like California. Japan, and parts of Europe. The initial cost of hydrogen vehicles and refueling infrastructure is high. However, Toyota is working on reducing costs through economies of scale, technological advancements, and improved production methods. They are also continually improving the efficiency of their fuel cell technology, making it more competitive with other forms of propulsion. Hydrogen's high flammability also raises major safety concerns. Toyota has implemented several measures to ensure the safety of its hydrogen vehicles. The hydrogen tanks in Toyota's FCVs are made from high-strength carbon fiber and designed to withstand extreme conditions. Advanced leak detection systems are in place to quickly identify and address any potential hydrogen leaks. Their FCVs undergo rigorous crash testing to ensure they meet and exceed safety standards. Conclusion, Toyota's commitment to hydrogen fuel cell technology is a testament to its vision of a sustainable future. The company's efforts are paving the way for broader acceptance and adoption of hydrogen vehicles. Over the next few years, hydrogen FCVs have the potential to complement battery electric vehicles, offering consumers more choices in the quest for greener transportation. The company is also exploring applications beyond passenger vehicles, including buses, trucks, and trains as well as energy storage and distribution. This holistic approach aims to create a comprehensive hydrogen ecosystem, driving the world towards a more sustainable energy landscape. As infrastructure grows and technology evolves, the dream of a hydrogen-powered future seems more attainable than ever. Hope you found this journey enlightening. Please leave us your thoughts in the comments down below and don't forget to ring that bell for those instant notifications. Thanks for watching.